Welcome back. Today, we got a new video. Um, we got something new, if you weren't curious. Today marks the 30th video that we've created. Um, 30th episode, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but today is number 30. Um, it's been quite a ride doing these videos. We've got quite a bit of shorts out there, but this is our 30th like full length, longer than 15 second video. So in doing that, we are going to show you one of our new microphones, um, kind of a review over overview of it. And it's what's in this box here right next to me. Um, I'm gonna move the power supply. This is the power supply. This lunchbox looking thing is power supply. And I'll go over that here in a minute. Anyways, it is this guy. This is a Warm Audio WA251. And there are plenty of videos um, about this microphone, about what's in this box. Um, so I can't, I don't know if I can say this is gonna be a really good one, but there's tons of them. Check out uh, Andrew Masters. I think he's got a few. I think Colt Caproon maybe have a few, has one on it. There's, they're all over there. So there's other reviews, but today is ours. And I figured I would do it as a special since this is our 30th video. If I did the math right, I think I did. Anyways, um, comes in this lovely wood cherry looking box with two little, you know, I don't know what you want to call those. We'll call them locks. They're not locks. They just kind of keep the lid closed. Um, it's got, you know, kind of a decent hinge on it. It's got the WA badge from Warm Audio on the front of it. Um, so I can get close to it. Just, just kind of going to show you what that looks like. Anyways, um, as we open it up here, so that's the box. We'll go to that in a minute. First of all, we'll start off with our power supply here. It's a beast of a unit, it really is. It's nice and sturdy. It's made for the model number WA251, made for this microphone. Turn that around for this guy. Um, I don't know what you would call the front or back on this. I would say the front is going to be where your, oh geez, how many, eight pin connector for your mic plugs into. This is a tube mic, by the way. Um, so this eight pin connector for your tube mic. So that goes out. It's got a special cable that comes with it. It's, it's a great, it's a sturdy cable. Um, it's kind of your typical XLR mic cable thickness. Um, it's got a nice rubber feel to it, but it's just an eight pin uh, cable. And then you've got your output, which is just your typical uh, three pin XLR mic cable. Um, it's got a nice handle so you can carry it. Maybe you can make your little noisy, little noisy. Anyways, you've got uh, on and off toggle that feels really good. Um, your three pin IEC power plug and fuse and then it does have a light on the front of it here. So I kind of think this is the front and this is the back, but honestly, I don't think it really matters. Depends on where you're sitting. Mine, this one usually just sits on the shelf behind me here and I go click. Oh, one thing I did forget to tell you on, it's got this knob here, um, which is your polar pattern and it has three patterns. It's got an Omni, a cardioid and a figure eight. I'd like, I've been using an Omni lately um for vocals just in case someone's not quite up on the mic you're still picking them up fairly decently um i haven't tried the other polar patterns quite so much i use this more as a vocal mic than anything so moving forward we've got the actual mic now this is like i said gone over the case it's, it's a wood cherry ish looking anyways um inside you have this beautiful velvet box and as you can see it's got it I'll get a close-up here anyways you got this nice velvety box um, that it comes in um, and it was wrapped in plastic I took the plastic off so I could, you don't have to wrap it so many times and pulling it out it does fit in there nice and tight but it's a nice velvet box just kind of keep your microphone in and this is the microphone looks almost identical to a 251. If you were to put them up and kind of cover everything on both mics, you'd be like, which one's the Telefunken? And you'd be like, I don't know, because they're similar color, you know, similar length, height, everything. Um, can't unscrew it, and it does have, like if I unscrew the body, 
And the other one's this, the actual two key ones this way too. You unscrew the bottom here, take that off, and then you can slide out and you can see the insides. And they did a pretty good job on the inside of this. They've got, you know, I believe it's got a cinematic transformer in it. Um, I don't know that for sure, but it's got a tube. It's got a 12AX7 in it. Um, you can pretty much switch those out. Um, you can find online, let me put this back together. Um, you can find online um, dealers and people who are selling um, new old stock tubes. Put this back together without breaking anything. Um, anyways, you can find dealers selling new old stock stuff. You can find um, new replacement tubes that are better than the Chinese one that came in it. But the tube that's in it... Um, does work quite well. I'm trying to figure out where the front of my microphone is supposed to go. Should have paid attention when we took this apart. Well, that's not right. Yeah, you guys can uh, criticize me all you want on this one, but I just want to make sure I get the. There's a little nip. There's a little section here that all this fits together in. There we go. Um. If you don't get it together right, it doesn't quite tighten, and then you got a loose microphone. Anyways, um, I've taken this apart a couple times already just to see what the insides were like. Um, but to show you guys, that's the inside of a Telefunken, or I'm sorry, a Warm Audio 251. Not to be confused with the Telefunken 251. Um, but I do like this microphone. I've been using it for vocals. As you can see, it's a larger microphone. It's got a very large shock mount that it goes on. I have it on a stand in the vocal booth. Um, when it's not being used, I take it off the mic, off shock stand, uh, shock mic and stand, put it in its little velvet case here and um, kind of go from there. So that's kind of our overview. Um, we use it for vocals. Um, might try some videos on it on other instruments like guitars or drums, overheads, room mics. Um, I've heard people use them as room mics, loving them, heard them as overheads, love them. Um, we bought it for vocals because we wanted something that was a little brighter than our SM7 here that's in front of me. Um, but anyways, that's our video for today. If you liked it, hit subscribe, hit like, hit the bell for new notifications, and uh, we'll see you all next time.